please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or med scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 physics questionnaire for the undergraduate scholarships. The answer key and original questions are linked in the description. Problem 4 of part 1 reads, A sinusoidal wave travels in the positive x direction with a constant speed of 0 0.30 meters per second. Figure 1-3 shows a snapshot of the wave at t equals 0 seconds as a function of x. The wave is reflected at a fixed end at x equals 0 0.90 meters. Find an appropriate graph for the wave at t equals 0 seconds from figure 1-4. So figure 1-4 is not here, it's in the next slides. It's just the figures that contain the choices. Let us now consider a few ideas that will be useful in the solution of this problem. First is the idea of wave reflection. So wave reflection of a fixed end means that the reflection is 180 degrees out of phase. What that means is that the wave is flipped vertically. If we start with a wave like this, after it reflects off this end, fixed end, it will now look like this. So the negative portion now becomes positive and the positive portion now, beca now becomes negative. And if you think about this in terms of Newton's law, so if you have a string here and you have a fixed end here, when the wave reaches this, this boundary here, so there is a reaction. So it, it kind of pulls, it pulls the boundary upwards. And so the boundary also pulls it downward. And so when it reflects that downward pull is what manifests so it goes this way and that happens to every to every other point that follows so when when you are here the wave the pull is quite strong and so you also have a pull downwards that's quite strong so that's kind of an intuitive way of understanding why this is the case the other idea is the idea of superposition of waves this means that if you have two waves when you try to put them on top of each other, they will just add algebraically. So for example, if we have these two waves here, this is negative here and this is positive here. If they were all of the same absolute values in the y direction here and here, then when you put them on top of each other, they will cancel out and they will become zero. On the other hand, if they had the same sign, so for example, if you had this wave and you add it to itself, then the resulting wave would just be twice the original. That's what we mean by superposition of waves. We just add them algebraically. The problem is asking us to imagine what happens after t equals two seconds. So to make it easier for us, I put a star at the beginning of the wave. So that's gonna help us track the wave, the motion of the wave. So after two seconds, the wave would have moved by how much? That would be dependent on the amount that is indicated in the problem, that is the speed. So because it moves at 0 0.30 meters per second, after two seconds, it would have moved by this amount, 0.3, which is the speed times two seconds. And now that's 0.6 of a meter. And so, after two seconds, the star would have been translated 0.6 of a meter, so from here to here. And in fact, the whole wave would have been translated. So it moves from here, and then now it becomes like this after two seconds. However, we see that there is this portion here, this bit here, that doesn't happen. This will not happen because we have a barrier here where reflection occurs. So we said that during reflection, this wave actually gets flipped. And so the reflected wave would have looked like this. And 
we're only concerned with this second portion because only the second portion will be reflected. So we can ignore for a moment the first part of this green reflection. So looking at the second portion, which is this reflection, now it will be reflected, it would go like this. So now we only have this portion of the wave. So the red bit is from the first part of the wave. This, the green bit is from the reflection of the second part of the wave. And what that tells us is that the resulting wave would now have only this portion. Therefore, that means that we will have double this portion here. If you look at the choices, the doubled downward or or the doubled opening upward portion is only this bit here, right? It doubles from 0.3 to 0.6. And therefore, the answer to this problem is this one. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!